Tomb Raider was a groundbreaking 3D action adventure game and one of the first titles to star an iconic female character. Which are totally the two things people remember most about the game, right? <clears throat> but that's not all there is to know about Lara and there's a few interesting and fun facts that the casual gamer or even the hardcore fan might not know, so I'm here to show you 7 of those things. So without any further ado, here's 7 Tomb Raider facts you probably didn't know. Number 1. Lara Croft is the best-selling female character of all time. Well, it should be not surprising that Lara Croft is the most famous and recognizable female character in the video game industry. She is considered the pioneer of female characters in gaming, but not only that, Lara Croft is also the leading best-selling female video game characters in history. All the main games in Tomb Raider franchise which features Lara Croft have sold over 80 million units worldwide. And this does not even include her other media appearances like movies or animated series. So I'm sorry to say, but suck it up girls, you still have a long road ahead to reach my girl's toes. Number 2. Drunk Mona Lisa features in a Tomb Raider game. Only the most dedicated of fans will have picked up on this before, but certainly not the casual gamer. Everyone knows that the mysterious smile of the Mona Lisa has captured the attention of spectators for generations, but if you look closely at Mona Lisa in 2013's Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness, Mona's face has been replaced with a picture of composer Peter Connolly who worked on the game after a heavy night out. I think Da Vinci would be really impressed with this piece, don't you think? Number 3. Lara Croft released two terrible albums. After the huge success of Tomb Raider, Lara Croft was suddenly everywhere. Magazine covers, commercials, U2 live tours. She even recorded a couple of music albums, but these were so bad they were only released in France, even though they were entirely in English. <laughs> Lol. So have a listen to Lara Croft's first single, Getting Naked. Number 4. Sony wasn't going to allow Tomb Raider on the PlayStation. After the PlayStation launched in 1995, every developer under the sun wanted to develop for the new hot console. And given the success of the Tomb Raider games on that particular piece of hardware, one would think both Sony and Eidos had been eager to work together. Well... No. Early on, Sony was very picky about what they would allow on the new console and Tomb Raider didn't measure up to the standards the first time Core submitted the game for them to review. Because of this, Tomb Raider's lead platform was actually the Sega Saturn for much of the development. Eventually, Core would polish Tomb Raider to the point that Sony accepted the game, but an inferior version of the game still ended up coming out for the less powerful Saturn. Unfortunately for Sega fans, this would be the one and only Tomb Raider game on the system. Number 5. Lara's famous breast size was a mistake. Miss Croft's breast size was like totally an accident. Totally. Let me tell you why. According to Lara's creator Toby Gard, he was messing around with Lara's model one day and accidentally made her breasts 150% larger. He was going to return them to being merely oversized but the rest of the development team caught a glimpse of the mistake and said that Lara looked better that way. So Toby ended up staying with the iconic pointy breasts that we all know and love. Number 6. Lara Croft holds two World Guinness records for appearances on magazine covers and the largest gathering of cosplayers. It does not matter if the character is fiction or not, and certainly not for Lara Croft. Lara Croft is very popular and we can see that she is also responsible for magazine sales, especially in the late 90s. The Guinness World Records has honored Lara Croft for the most magazine covers for a video game character, along with the largest gathering of people dressed as Lara Croft. In 2016, 
the publisher behind the franchise Square Enix, revealed that she has appeared on more magazine covers than any other supermodel. Lara Croft's total appearances in the cover magazines as a front and center character is over 1200, and even though some of these are obviously bunched together, it would average out about one magazine cover a month. For nearly 20 years, can you believe it? Jesus. Number 7. Lara Croft has been proposed to multiple times. For a lot of people, Lara Croft might have been their first crush. Lara has always been marketed in an alluring way and aimed at young people so their adoration does make sense. It gets a lot weirder when those fans grow up though. As game technology has progressed and Lara has become more and more realistic, the lines between reality and fantasy have blurred. A worker at Adius, Trisha Gray, confessed that while she was at the studio, dozens of marriage proposals from real men came in for Lara. Even one of Lara's most recent models, Alison Carroll, has received her fair share of proposals for embodying the character of Lara. Granted, a lot of these proposals might just be for fun, but the ones that are real are quite disturbing. And that concludes the 7 facts that you probably didn't know about Tomb Raider. Now let me know in the comment section below if you already knew any of these, and also if you know any interesting fact about Tomb Raider that you think is worth sharing. Please don't be shy, and do let me know cause I would love to hear from you. Bartoli's Hideout signing out, thanks for watching, stay safe, and until our next adventure.